real dark, it's not real light, it's just a nice color. And I just have a little bit, I'm just going to make little, little amounts here, I don't need a lot. So a couple little balls of this sky blue gum paste. And as you can see, they're not terribly large. I don't, well, these are really tiny flowers. I could probably even go smaller than that. But in order to make this flower, let me do a little bit more mesoplast real quick. I've got a wire here, 22 gauge. I'm just going to take this and cut it in half. These come really long. You don't really need this long of a wire. So what I do in the end is I make a little hook and I crimp it shut. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little, you know, like a little loop now on the end. And that little loop is going to make all the difference in the world because that's going to keep the wire stuck inside the flower. So I'm going to go ahead and make that on the other one. Just make sure those are ready to go. I've already got my gum glue made too. I've, I've already got that ready to go. This is my gum glue over here. And uh, I've also got some dusting, a little dusting uh, pad here full of cornstarch. Just in case I need to make sure something doesn't stick, I can dust something with that. Next tool I'm going to use here. This is a star tool. You'll notice it has a very pointy end. One side, if you look at it down the end, is for five petals. The other one's for six. Well, as we know, in nature, most flowers are five petals or an odd number. So I'm going to use the five petal one for this little flower. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this star tool and stab this little ball right in the middle and create like a little star impression. And that star is going to guide me where I'm going to make my petals. You can probably see that. <laughs> there you go. And uh, it's just a little hole in, in the top here, but that's going to give me a guide. I'm going to take my scissors here and make some medium, medium depth cuts where each one of these little lines is. By doing this, I'm separating them and creating little petals, five little petals. And then I'm going to set it down here my cell board. And uh, that's when we go to my next tool. This is called a ball tool. It has two balls on the end, one small, one large. And all I'm going to do here is just take this, start to spread apart my petals. Now I'm not working really fast here. All I'm going to do here is just try to spread these out gently. I eventually want to spread them out so that the ends of the petals become rounded. So sometimes I'm pushing, sometimes I'm going in little circles. But the idea here is to, to spread these out equally so they all come to be about the same size. Now, for those of you who can't see it all that well, let's try the close-up cam again. You can see how the little petals have, have formed. And um, all I did was basically press them out and gave them a little bit of shape. Um, just to make sure everything's a little bit, little, you know, has a nice shape, again, I'm going to go ahead and take this, this star tool and create a little throat here inside the, inside the flower. I just push it down just a little bit more in there. Um, the flower itself is really very simple. The bottom of it just has a little ball on it from the, from the hole in the cell board. As I hold that, I'm going to go ahead and wet the end of one of my wires here with some gum glue. Hopefully getting a little bit of gum glue in the eye, in the end of this wire. And what I'm going to do is take this wire and just drive it right down through the center, the top center of this flower. And I'm going to pull that wire right down inside the flower to allow it to get anchored. Now I'm just going to set that over here for now to dry. It needs to dry for a while and let that glue set up. If it doesn't, the wire might fall out because this stuff is really soft at this point. So very quickly, let's do another one. Again, star tool. Actually, 
that star is off center. If you get your star off center, what's going to happen is one side, uh, one, some of your petals are going to be bigger than others. Uh, so when it'll be lopsided. So I'm going to try to get right here in the middle to make sure that my petals are all about the same size. Slide down here in the cell board. Here's my ball tool. Yeah. There is. Is there any way we could rig ourselves one of those foamy things? <laughs> yeah. There is. I mean, Jeez. you know, um, some of the things I've done at home when I needed, really needed something, I want it to be nonstick. Uh, cotton cloth tends not to be very, doesn't stick to things very easily. So what I would sometimes use is just something soft, whether it be a piece of foam, anything I could find at home, and just put a cotton cloth over it. Uh, I one time, before I bought a sailboard, at one time I used to have a piece of wood, I just drilled a few holes in it, and then just, you know, gave it a coat of paint, and then put a cotton cloth over it, and I would shove my little flower on top of the hole, and it worked out just fine. What I'm doing here right now is I'm adjusting a little bit. I've noticed that some of my petals are not as separate as I'd like them to be. It looks like I didn't cut deep enough. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a couple extra little, little cuts just to make sure these petals will be separate. But yeah, there are ways of doing it on the cheap. Um, there's no reason why you have to spend big money on tools. I like, I like working with tools, nice tools too, but um, I don't always like paying for it. So again, another little stuff notice. Or not stuff notice, little forget me not. Why is it called forget me not? Uh, I'm not sure who named it. I'm not sure why they called it that, but why do they call any flower? Is that like one of the flowers we used to pick? He loves me, he loves me not. Yeah, he loves me and I always want my It could be. You know, or instead of saying what, he'll forget me, he won't forget me. Forget me he <laughs> These are little flowers, I mean, little tiny ones. So I'm just going to set that over here to dry. Okay, so next, 